You got it. Hi. Is it live? Yeah. All right, everybody. I'm going to paper click the clip in my mouth. Here, hold on to that, Skyler. All righty. So I want to show you a detail here that I'm working on my experimental rockets. This is a paper clip. And it's bent in a particular way. And it drops down in this channel. And this little bump out here on the paper clip catches in a notch in here. And I'm going to let you see me install that. I don't know if you heard it click. I did. There we go. Now it's in there. Now, if I want to remove a motor, I can just flex this back, get the motor out. Okay, at least that's the theory. <laughs> we'll see if my schemes work or not. Okay, go set that down. Or put it in your pocket. And so here's another rocket. Now this one I've got a mistake on. It doesn't have a ring to stop the uh, motor from shooting up in it. So I put some tape on it. So this one might be a fatal. All right, here, hold on to this. Hold on to it right there. Right here. And hopefully I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the big loop of the clip and straighten it out. And on this little design, it goes on the right. And, um, oh, and I bend this forward so that it springs in the slot and catches in the lip there. And I'm just going to uh, look at where to bend it. It needs to bend about right there. We'll bend that forward. And... Bend it up, and then I'm going to curl it over up here so it doesn't have a sticky bit sticking out. And now I want it leaning into the motor, so I'm going to do that to the paper clip. So at some point I might publish these drawings if I ever get them working good. There we go. That, that thing's installed. Yep. All right, so we got a longer wire this time. Yes. I forgot our little battery, so we're hooked up to the car battery. And um, we've got our rig set up. The wind is blowing from my right to my left to your left. <laughs> so we got, we got those leaning into the wind, maybe three or four degrees. And we're going to shoot off uh, the little rocket in his pocket first. But let's go ahead. Oh, we didn't finish this. Let's go ahead and. Uh, problem with this little fat rocket is there's like no space for the uh, for the ribbon in there huh. okay Z up that ribbon let's get it in there actually do this huh. can you fold it in half I long ways and, and then Z it up oh no that's not what I meant I meant was oh. like that oh yeah can you do that here out here hold on to this and I will help you teamwork makes your dream work everyone yep okay so make an accordion out of it so we got a little more set up before we started the live stream this time because we're just amateurs. Yeah, we're not professionals. We really don't know that much about what we're doing. The first ribbons we made for uh, for Flutter Down was uh, made from like a, a Menards shopping bag. <laughs> okay, keep going. And that thing, when it got exposed to heat, just kind of took a set. It wouldn't unravel. Here, put about two wraps, two, put about three wraps around that. So we're doing things with, uh, this is uh, some braided heavy line. It's probably 50 pound test, uh, but from my leather making hobby. 
is what I would use to stitch together a sheath. I probably have used this th roll of thread to stitch together a sheath, but the last time we got together and did this, the motors didn't function right, and they just, they burnt so quickly that they, um, that they, uh, yeah, it immediately, I mean, one rocket, it shot the uh, parachute ejection charge off before it got to the top of the wire. And if you play that video real slow, that last one, you can see that. And so they just went, shoop. and because it opened up on the inside, on the top, we were burning propellant both ways. And I think that super intense heat is what melted the rockets. Now, I may find out today that if it works right, it'll, it'll, it'll still melt the rockets, but that's what we're going to find out. Um, so I went back to the hobby shop and they, the, the motors I was using before were still in the same batch. These are A83s, I think. So these are a little more powerful in the same canister. Um, and they're completely different batch. So hopefully these will function properly. So, okay. So let's go load these on. Put, put the big one on the left. And that one near the other one near the wires. So let me show you our rig we got here. We're using 12 volts. We mean business. Here's the positive wire. I've got this wrapped around this post so it doesn't touch anything. And then here's the ground. And Skylar's just going to touch off the ground or clip on the ground to launch the rocket. Did you connect up the igniter? Be real gentle. Yep. Just just hold one just one clip at a time. And I'm disconnected from power back here. No, not that rocket, the one to your left, the little one. Yeah. The little two wires that are hanging out there. Can you take the red one too? Yep, connect it to the other one. And the tips of them aren't touching, are they? Okay. Now grab that clothespin and see if we can move the rocket. I think there's a clothespin in there. goes to that one. Yep, the green one goes to that one. Right. Just open it up and clip it on. But wait a minute here. Okay. Let's get over here by the fender where you're ready to do it. Right here? Yep. Right. Let me get ready to follow the rocket if that's even possible. So the orange one kind of in the middle with the wires running to it. Okay, give us a countdown and hook it up. Right. Wait. Three, two. Wow. It worked. Uh oh. Can we go run after it? It lost oh, its comb. It's up there. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know where the uh, where the plastic ribbon went, but evidently when the ejection charge went off, it burnt through our string. I didn't see the comb fall. I don't see our piece of plastic bag floating away. Oh well. It didn't melt it. It didn't melt it? Yeah. Here, put it. Oh, it's all there. Oh, here, show it to the camera. Definitely stinks so. though. Does it stink? Yeah. Okay, so let's look at this. It didn't melt our tube like the uh, other ones did. Yeah. It's a little, little black inside. This was hanging down. 
So we, we got our cone and everything back. When I didn't see the ribbon come out, I thought... I think it did, because it did slow down a little bit. Yeah, but it was still kind of accordioned up. Yeah. But hey, that was better. So my friend... Uh, my friend at the hobby shop says that these rockets are so small, they don't need a recovery ribbon. <laughs> he said, just put a string on the cone and let them come back by tumble down. Oh, look at here. This is separated though. Yeah. It Feel, cool. feels a little crunchy. So this burnt in two, didn't it? Yeah. Or did it break? Uh, looks like it made it break. Okay, well. Well, that may, was, maybe we learned something. That was more successful, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We're doing deal with this. Uh, drop it in the toolbox. All right. And then uh, let's put the short, fat rocket on there. Get it set up. This one? Yeah. All right. Now, the one on the left, the short one. The green wire not touching that one white wire that's a very good question i'm glad you asked that it is not you do, you don't have any power we're going to build a rocket launch system that's a lot safer than what we're doing here good to go good to go okay all right let me get the, let the amateur cameraman get his camera set Hmm. Got it. Hey Beaker, we launched. I hope you're watching. Are you watching? I see you in chat. All right, so this is the short fat rocket that I showed you. We installed the little wire retainer. Hey, did that last rocket, the motor stayed in it, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the paperclip idea so far is a winner. Yeah, Beaker's still there. Okay. Um, all right, you going to give us a countdown? So that one flew a little funny, didn't it? Yeah. Hey, the ribbon's working, yeah. but it's separate from the rocket. <laughs> this is why you're bringing young people along, so you don't have to run. <laughs> Full of enthusiasm. Wow, so that's... Uh, That's two for two that our string broke or, or melted, isn't it? Yeah. So the the real rocket guys use Kevlar because it's really uh ah. so our that, that time our our, uh, our our thing fluttered, our ribbon fluttered. So that was a success. Yeah. That's very tiring. And oh yeah, this feels crunchy here. Yep. Oh thankfully that didn't fall. Huh, so, so, so the, my, my knot came untied. Okay, so let me look at this. So I'm wondering, so there's, there's a cone down in there that I have in there to um, go from the rocket motor size to the rocket body size, but it might also be kind of directing the, uh, the charge for, from laminar flow along the along the surface of the cone and blasting right on that string there and melting it. So maybe what I need to do is put a little plastic bump or something under the string uh, to deflect the charge. So that that'll be possibly an experiment we'll try out next time. All right, dump that in a toolbox. All right. Okay. And then uh, reposition the other rocket. They they went pretty high, didn't they? Yeah, that one was a little unstable, so it probably, the center of, uh, the aerodynamic center is, and the CG are too close together. And your wires are disconnected here. Okay. I don't know if you can see that little green wire sticking up there.
Oh, let's and let's also let's uh, lower the clip about six in. Uh, just take the clip off. The I'm sorry, the the clothespin. There you go. All right. Yep. I'm sure it would take off on a short rod, but. You need to catch your breath. Bye. You need to catch your breath. Yeah. All right. So this is the a fat and a longer rocket. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three. Two. Awesome. Oh, that's our piece of insulation. Hey, that one actually worked properly. Okay, can he catch the insulation? What are the odds? Oh, you give it up! It, it ain't hit the ground yet! <laughs> it's going to end up on top of those batting cages or whatever that is over there. I'll let him figure that out. So, wow. Oh, so I guess I had the uh, the rods a little too steep because the things didn't come back, to, didn't float down close to us. So, I can shoot them a little more vertically. They come down so fast. <clears throat> so, the whole point of this is um, uh, they've got a vacation Bible school where the theme this year is rockets. And the kids get to do a uh, craft project uh, each day. And one of those days I thought it would be really really cool if we did model rockets and the reason I'm trying to opportunity we'll take one of the older kids and let them um, control the ground control station so that uh, the little kid can't launch the rocket until everything's safe and everything's ready so, oh we lost a fin we did yeah look at that oh wow okay i can't find that so you got the code i think it landed on that uh top of that netting over there i looked in it I that's saw actually it. not a batting cage i don't know what that is it's some kind of Cage. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Yep, and our motor's still in here like we expected. Yeah. There's a little bit of black on our wire. Maybe that little L I could make a little shorter. Oh. Are you out of breath? Yeah. I thought you was a athlete in school. I am, but I shit now. <laughs> you, uh, you, you're a wrestler, though. You're not a, a track star. No. You've got the physique of a track star. Yeah. Thin, tall, long legs. I know I can run faster. Okay. Just not right now. Throw that away. Like in the trash trash? Yep, and then disconnect the battery up here. Right. And we'll start. No, no, not the trash trash. In the in the toolbox. Oh. And then we'll start uh start the tear down, but disconnect it from the battery here first. Alright. Alright. That's it. I think we had a success. We're close enough now. You want me to do this one? Or do you want to do this one? Uh, undo it from the battery first. Yep, just undo them both from the battery. It won't bite you, it's just 12 volts. I don't want to. As long as you don't put your tongue on it, you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, go drop those in the toolbox. Wrap up the cord and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so after the first test, it wasn't very successful. And I thought, well, we can't. We want the kids to have a rocket to take home. And they were all melted, and so that was no good. So all three of these did good, they didn't melt. So I was I was correct. It, it was the it was the motor failure, a Cato, that caused that first problem. Uh, these are more powerful motors, um, and uh, hopefully the lot's big enough for these, or I can get a different lot of the shorter burn motors because I think they only need to go up 100, 150 feet or so. That might have been uh, uh, you know 250, 300 feet there possibly. So. 
in the lot we're doing this in might not be big enough for that depending on what the wind is so got a few things to work out but anyways that's it that's all we've had fun here in tip city testing out some 3d printed rockets and uh, get out there and make something get your hands dirty uh i'll go home with a little bit of smoke smell on me from handling those rockets say goodbye Uh, I don't know.